Hello, um, in this video we'll be looking at some basic maths for physics. Let's have a look at the um, very useful equation. Speed equals distance divided by time. Now that is an equation um, that you will, will have come across in um, other courses previous to the A-level or the IB. Now, say for instance we wish to rearrange that in terms of time. So we knew what S and D was and we wanted in terms of time. Um, we could of course just put the numbers in for S or D or better still we arrange it so we write the equation as T equals something. Now how would we do that? Now you may have been familiar with using the triangle and you may remember the triangle as distant, speed and time. And you cover up one letter, so that is time is distance over speed, speed is distance over time, distance equals speed times time. Well, we uh, that is no longer useful um, at A-level and IB because equations get more complicated. So let's start on that simple equation first of all. So what is time equal to? Well, just like maths, what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So let's rub that off. So, what, to get time to the top, what we need to do is we need to multiply both sides by time. So do the same to both sides, like that. And you find out that on this side, time divided by time is just 1. So that cancels out, just to give us d on that side. So we get time times speed equals distance. And we could write that as T S equals D. But we still want time on its own. So now we divide both sides by S to get T on its own. And so those cancel, if you like, S divided by S is 1. So T equals distance divided by speed. So time is equal to distance divided by speed. Okay, nice and simple. Okay, now that could have worked with the triangles just as well. However, let's look at a more sophisticated equation. We often get in physics a very common equation V equals U plus AT. In fact, that stands for velocity equals, or final velocity rather, equals initial velocity um, plus acceleration times time. Again, Let's put it in terms of t. We want t on the left-hand side on its own because perhaps we know the values for v, u and a. Now, this time we really want to get this term a t on its own. We don't want to divide through by a straight away. We want to get, if there's a plus or negative, we want to get them across onto the side to leave a and whatever it's multiplied or divided by together. So let's take u from both sides. So we're going to take u from both sides. So that becomes v minus u is equal to u plus at minus u. Now u and minus u, well they'll cancel out, u minus u is zero. So that gives us v minus u equals at. Now that we've just got t multiplied by um, another, another letter or number on that side and no adds or or takeaways, or adds or minuses, which is better. What do we do now? At this stage here, now we divide through by a. So, a t over a is equal to v minus u over a. Now, a divided by a can cancel. It's just a divided by a is just 1. 1 times t is t. So, t equals v minus u divided by a. Now, normally we write it so that t, so that the, 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 the letter, the symbol we're looking for, is on the left-hand side because we because we always read um, in, in many countries, including England, from left to right. So therefore, we write the final answer as t is equal to v minus u, all divided by a. 